Making people laugh will make people buy into your ideas. I was quite inspired by a client of ours, a friend of ours, Nobi Sadiq, and he always says that you know communication is a muscle, and that he takes、uh, comedian classes not to be funny, but to be able to present better, to connect better, right? If I'm able to make someone laugh and shit their pants, they're way more likely to perceive me as approachable. And if you notice in my in my best man speech, the reason I started off with I've noticed that if you want people to be engaged, you need to make sure they're involved. And then I started off with you know the three. Hiyas and hell yeah! Yes. Oh my god, that, that, that was of, beautiful. That broke the ice. So that literally made people more comfortable with listening to me and all that. The the fact that you made them laugh by commanding the space by saying those hey yes and then it made them more receptible to the other jokes. The other jokes, correct? And and I was very surprised. I I was I looked around. Everyone was laughing. I was like. This is great. I love this. I know.、Right? I know. So、uh, it's called、um, social proof.、Uh, social proofing. I think that's a concept where, where basically you get buy-in from people because they see credibility or validity、mm. or things from you, right? It's same thing in in a business setting, guys. If you're if you're pitching to a client or a potential customer that wants to join, for example, your gym or wants to buy into your product, you need to be able to present it in a way where it's full confidence, right? The reason why I say you need to start with an icebreaker that's somewhat funny. Right, it's not just for the audience, but also for you, because obviously you're gonna go in there nervous as well by putting out something that's like, "Hey guys, fuck it, I'm nervous too, but I'm gonna break the ice real quick." Yeah, right. You yourself become more confident because you're getting acceptance from yeah, your crowd, right? That's right. right?